Chair was among the countries uh, that abstained from voting the United Nations General Assembly resolution on um, ra condemning Russian actions. In 2022, Eritrea condemned the sanctions imposed on Russia. Uh, do you feel pressure from the West for your position? And uh, do you detect any pressure in relation to certain projects uh, of cooperation with Russia? There is a problem here. We did not abstain. We were against the imposition of sanctions against the Russian Federation. It's not because we are doing any favor to the Russian Federation. This is war declared on Russia, led by Washington and NATO. So it's very clear, it's a very simple thing. And as I indicated earlier, this war was declared 30 years ago, probably. During the, the, after the end of the Cold War, this idea of hegemony came, control everything, control everything influence the world, divide the world into areas of influence. And it's not only expanding influence. It was a declaration of war because there was an, a, a concept developed by these guys to contain, 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 contain those who can compete or at least who can uh, share something uh, in, the, in the global scene. That was not allowed. And because of the background of, of, of the Cold War, era, this obsession of containing Russia, containing Russia, containing Russia was there for the last 30 years. It's nothing new. If you are containing one nation not to grow, not to compete, not to, 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 to be able to make its contributions, then you are declaring war. I wouldn't be sitting here waiting for someone to contain me with sanctions, with obstructions, with confusion, all sorts of things. This is a declaration of war. And we had our position very clear, not yesterday or the day before, but we said this is not the kind of all world order that, 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 that the peoples of, 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 of all, all continents need. Nobody needs this kind of, of, of policies, hegemony, control, and not allow people to grow and work uh, hard to, to, to change their quality of life. This idea of War in Ukraine or war between the Russian Federation and Ukraine is not true at all. This is war declared by NATO and Washington against the Russian Federation for the last 30 years. This has been going on and on and on for the last 30 years. How can you contain Russia? Not enable Russia to economically compete. Not enable Russia to compete in technology. Not, enable, not allow Russia to compete in industries not allow uh, Russia to even have influence everywhere. If you have declared this war, then the war is, 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 is there. It's not a war between Russia and, 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 and Ukraine. For that matter, our position was clear. We were against this uh, so-called uh, global order or world order. We've been victims of these sanctions. It's not big nations or not powerful nations like Russia, China, or anybody else, but even those who don't bow, or kneel down to this uh, ideology of hegemony will have to be punished. Sanctions, sanctions, sanctions. This declaration of war will have to end. This is not a war from, from, from between Russia and, 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 and Ukraine. This is a war declared by NATO, led by Washington, and Russia has the right to defend itself. Not alone. It's not a, a, an isolated Russian case. This is a global issue. And we need an order, a global order or a world order that enables everybody to share, cooperate. Complementarity will have to be there. You can't contain someone, you can't contain one nation, you can't uh, force or even use force, all sorts of, 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 of coercion to subdue uh, nations. This is not acceptable.